Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Spicy Pizza production. I'm your host Mitchell. We're back with some more sepia tears. Um, if I sound a lot more quiet, uh, roommates are sleeping, and I just, I needed, I wanted to record a little bit more, because it just, it's, it's getting to me, but now, now I gotta tone down the intensity, which, thank god, I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to punch shit. Um, when we left off, uh, we were meeting Lillian after school to, I'm going to assume, confess our love, probably. And then I'm my head while realizing that there's no turning back. <clears throat> Memories are fickle. They're not there when you need them, and they are there when you wish they weren't. Damn. It's cold. Leaning against the school's hard brick wall as the rest of the students leave for the holidays, I wonder absentmindedly about these past two weeks. The shadows of the bare trees against the snow takes me back. Mira has nothing to do with this. I realize that now. She may have been the trigger, but this? This was set in motion long, long ago. But I shouldn't complain. If this is how the story has to end, then... Hey! I, I don't know whose voice it is. Ah, Lucas! Luca? Lucas? Yeah, it's me. My voice changed a little bit. <laughs> I thought you were busy this evening. I am. I just told them that I'd be half an hour late. Oh. So, why are you here? I need to tie up. <clears throat> I need to tie up a loose end. Is this about what you said yesterday? No. Well, it's related in a sense, but this time it's about you. I'm here to warn you. Hmm? You already knew that, didn't you? Part of me did. That's the part with the natural intuition, then. I've known you for a while now. We're friends. There are a lot of things that go without saying, but there are an equal number of things that need to be said. What are you getting at? I'm saying that you might be making a mistake. Don't lie to yourself. I bite my lip. I don't know exactly what you're planning, or how you're planning to do it, but if you're making an important decision, I'm obligated to make sure you do it properly. I hate to break it to you, but you're no more capable than I am. I know that. But there's another thing that I know. You've conditioned yourself to not take the initiative. And I'm going to change that. You're going to change that at your own peril. Fine by me. <laughs> Just don't say I didn't warn you. He turns around and leaves, but before he can get out of earshot. Thanks! I say that word just loud enough for him to hear it. Thank you for caring, Lucas. Thank you for caring. You're late. Uh, I know. I'm sorry, but I got caught up with one of my teachers and... No, it's alright, I was just kidding. I try to smile. It's only been ten minutes. Relax. But... This'll cancel one of the favors I owe you, alright? Fine. She takes a deep breath and slowly exhales. <laughs> so, you're the one who called me here after all. Oh, right. <clears throat> Sh shall we walk? Sure. It takes a while for me to notice that the flurries have already started to fall. <sighs> Sip up some water. It feels like magic. A heavy, condensed ball of bliss pulling my heart into my throat. She's the same as always, but something's different. Something in the way she brushes her hair from her eyes makes her look like she's shining. Dude, bro. She may, over the, like, since you first met her, she may have changed a little bit. But what you're saying is, like, literally you are in love with her. Sorry. Whew. Anyways. 
yeah, it's not nothing that like physically changed. It's just you started noticing and every little thing that you see her do just makes your the butterflies stir in your stomach and just makes your brain numb. It's, it's it. You're falling, dude. You're falling hard. I can't believe it. All those fragments of conversations over the past year, those jigsaw memories, they all come down to this. One single walk, on one single day, on a snowy winter afternoon. <laughs> but the silly thing with life is that every anti- uh, God. But the silly thing with life is that every anti-climax feels like a climax when you're the hero. Hey. You remember when we first met, right? The science project? Without a moment's hesitation. Yeah. But I was thinking of what happened after that. With the sky. Yeah, I remember. I dreamt about it this morning. Funny. I haven't thought about that day in ages. Of course. I have more of a reason to remember it than you do. It it's been so long, hasn't it? You used to be so shy back then. I could say the same to you. Yeah. I'd rather not think about that. About it. It doesn't matter. We'll get along either way. Or we get along either way. I guess so, huh? The snow crunches beneath our feet. If you could go back, would you do it all over? Redo our first year? This year, last year, everything that happened before that. Do you think this would be any easier if you could just go back? Maybe. Even so, there's something poetic about the way things fall into place, even if it's a mess. Like an abstract painting, you know? Beautiful chaos. Wow. Beautiful chaos. That is... Beautifully chaotic. Hmm. We'll have to remember that. Beautiful chaos. That's my life. Lily and I arrive at a small park in a secluded corner of the suburbs. Stupid. It's a nice place, isn't it? I never knew we had a park here. It's always been here. I used to come here when I was younger. Oh. Whoa. Brushing the snow off the surface. She takes a seat on a swing and clutches onto the chains. This area was a lot more populated back then, but for some reason it was always quiet on Friday evenings. I used to go after school. After school on Friday? Wouldn't the place be filled with kids then? I take a seat beside her. <laughs> you think so, right? But they all used to go to the bigger park down the block. And that's why I like this place. It was quiet. Oh. It was important. Yeah. I didn't have much else to do through most of junior high, after all. You've changed so much. You think? I know I'm more confident now, but... No. Really, you have. Remember that time we went walking behind the school? <laughs> you were scared that we'd get lost. I think I might still be scared if you were leading us. Touche. There's something sad about our laughter. The calm before the storm. Still, it was different back then. We had to prod you out of the bus stop to even come with us. I remember you promised that we'd find something exciting. Huh. I might have conveniently forgotten about that. Did we end up finding anything? Of course. Hmm. I don't remember taking anything home. It wasn't something you could take home. Hmm? Lillian. 
There's something I need to tell you. You've made up your mind? Three years ago, I swore I would never do this again. I'm kind of getting goosebumps, but it might just be because the house is cold a little bit. But maybe the answer has been in front of me all along. I... This whole drama has been for something. I know it. My memories of the sepia-stained world surge forth, and I... <sighs> Let me take a sip. I also forgot to do my timer. Oopsie. I think this is t getting towards the end, though, so, um, you know what? Let's confess. I don't do a lot of confessing in my life. Behind the scenes stuff right there. And, like, usually I'm too scared to really confess anything. Because I like the tranquility in my life, and I don't want to ruin it. But, you know, y you, you gotta take the risk. You gotta take risks. And... We're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna confess. Whatever we're confessing to. Probably love. I'm sure. It took me a year to realize it. But I fell for you when we met on that autumn day. I hear a pin drop somewhere in the distance. Yeah. I close my eyes. T you... It's just like before. Just like last time. It'll never change. But... Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mark. But this time, there's no room for regret. I'm sorry. I should be apologizing. No, I... Thank you. What? I said thank you. She climbs off the swing and dusts the snow off her lap. Remember that thing I wanted to tell you? The thing I was worried about, that I thought I could never admit? Turns out it was pretty simple. I just tried to make it complicated. But seeing you like this, Mark, I think you gave me the courage I needed. Uh, the words are gone. All gone. I'm sorry. Her eyes glisten as she clasps her hands around mine. Are, 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 are we getting denied? Or is she fessing up to us too? Her warmth seeps through them as a year's worth of memories slip away. Oh shit. You like him, don't you? I do. I'm not sure when I first realized it, but I really, really do. G good. Then go. I reach into my pocket, and, and I jam the bookmark into her hand. He's kept it all this time, you know. Oh, fuck. It means a lot to him, so by the time he gets home and looks over his stuff, he'll probably realize that I swiped it. Before that happens, go give it back. Thanks. I'll make it count. One by one, her footprints take her away. One more thing. Karaoke. New Year's Eve. You in? It's a deal. The silhouette that I fell in love with fades into the whiteness. Ah, oh, mother! Oh. 
A memory dies with every step she takes, buried in snow. I arrive home in a daze, only to notice a letter sticking out of the mailbox. Strange. I reach out for it, and my heart stops. No postage stamp, no name, no return address. Only to Mark, handwritten in clean cursive. A sheet of paper falls out. Dear Mark, I'm sorry to have to inform you like this, but I realized something today that I should have realized long ago. I made a mistake, a huge mistake, a mistake that will hurt both of us. Before this can happen, I'd like to see you on the 24th of December at 9 a.m. in the place where we first met. You may decline if you would like, but if possible, I would like to see you again. For once, just one more time would be enough. Once more before the end. There's a final line written on the back. P.S. I'll return the ribbon to you at the end of the day. I know how much it means to you. Uh, uh, what? There was nothing I could do. I stood alone on the doorstep with the cruel, frigid wind at my back, reading and rereading the letter until I wanted to cry. Oh, bitch. You know what? Fuck it. We're ending this series today. Or we will actually stop it for next time. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like, favorite, subscribe, and share this with your friends, your family, your grandpa, and your grandma. We'll, we'll go grandma this time. Because she loves sappy love stories. To end in cruel, cruel denial. I mean, you, we should have known this. Going into it, the worst thing she could say was no. And then the second worst thing is her confessing that she likes your best friend. Which, you know, now that the puzzle pieces are here, I kind of feel stupid. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I've been Mitch, and I will see you all next time. Have a fantastic day. I feel stupid.